Today, I'm here to announce that the Department of Justice has opened an investigation into whether the Chicago Police Department has engaged in a pattern or practice of violations of the Constitution or federal law. Specifically, we will examine a number of issues related to the Chicago Police Department's use of force, including its use of deadly force, racial, ethnic, and other disparities in its use of force, and its accountability mechanisms, such as its disciplinary actions and its handling of allegations of misconduct. This investigation has been requested by a number of state and local officials and community leaders, but has been opened only after a preliminary review and careful consideration of how the Justice Department can best use our tools and our resources to meet Chicago's needs. And the team will meet with a broad cross-section of community members, city officials, and law enforcement command staff and officers to both explain our process and to hear from anyone who wishes to share information relevant to this investigation. And at the end of our investigation, we will issue a report of our findings. And if we discover unconstitutional patterns or practices, the Department of Justice will announce them publicly. We will seek a court enforceable agreement with the Chicago Police Department and work with the city to implement appropriate reforms. Our goal in this investigation, as in all of our pattern or practice investigations, is not to focus on individuals, but to improve systems. The same systems that fail community members also fail conscientious officers by creating mistrust between law enforcement and the citizens that we are sworn to serve and protect. This mistrust from members of the community makes it more difficult to gain help with investigations, to encourage the victims and the witnesses of crime to speak up, and to fulfill the most basic responsibilities of public safety officials. And when suspicion and hostility is allowed to fester, it can erupt into unrest. Building trust between law enforcement officers and the communities that we serve is one of my highest priorities as Attorney General.